Schools across the U.S. are trying to find new ways to protect students who are training outside. Some are turning to something called the wet bulb globe temperature. It goes beyond the heat index, taking into account sun angle, cloud cover, and wind speed. Traditionally, people often use the heat index. This is fine for normal everyday activities such as gardening or taking kids to a park because most of those activities don't involve intense exercise. One thing we try to do is be proactive, um, especially the best interests of the kids and just making sure that we're putting their safety you know, first in everything that we do. So we always get with the trainers and we come up with a plan. Some schools and organizations are switching to a method of measurement used by the military for decades to help prevent heat related illnesses. It's called wet bulb globe temperature. Using a wet bulb globe temperature device can help coaches and parents better determine things like when to have hydration breaks, length of practices or playtime, and rest ratios. Once it gets to 92, that's when we say they can't practice outdoors. Um, before that, they can do things like modify what they're wearing. They can do shells, which would be without the pads, they would still wear the helmets. But once we get to a point where it's that high, we just call it. All right, Allison, clearly this guy is hot. He's overheating, but it's not just the temperature making him sweat like this. Right, so Koi, in normal environmental conditions, when you sweat, that sweat evaporates off your body like it's doing to this gentleman here. That effectively cools your skin off. But in a high humidity environment, that sweat cannot evaporate properly. Because of that, it means that that sweat stays on your skin, making it feel as though you're wearing an extra layer of clothes. No one wants to wear a sweater playing sports in the summer, essentially is what you're saying. So humidity, very important. What other elements do we need to consider? Right, so here Heat index is very important. It measures temperature as well as the humidity, but there's other things to factor. Koi, when was the last time you ever saw an entire practice done in the shade? <laughs> I don't think that happens. Never. So that's just it. Wet bulb globe temperature also takes into account the sun angle, cloud cover, and wind speed, which is why this method is much better at monitoring student athletes. Much more detail. So what can you do to help prevent heat stroke and other heat related illnesses? The CDC says you can wear loose fitting, lightweight clothing, stay hydrated, protect against sunburn with SPF and take it easy during the hottest parts of the day. It's also important to know the signs of heat stroke. They include high body temperature, a very fast, strong pulse. You will often get very intense headaches, dizziness, nausea, confusion, and you can even lose consciousness.